Here we go. I, right there, will play an entire season of the New England Patriots franchise to try to get us back into the Super Bowl. The rules are simple. I'm only allowed to use the top three in coach suggestions. I have play cool limit down to two and play call limit to three so I get new plays every time. I'll have realistic sliders on. It'll be all matted and on simulation. Injuries will be on but not in practice injuries or pre-injuries. I'm not allowed to make any audibles or hot routes. Only hot route I can make is to block players. I am also starting this rebuild like it's happening right now we're starting in the wild card and i sim to the end of season and i will be implementing the 2024 draft class to make it a lot more realistic and with that we're ready to start the 2024 draft class and start off with a masterpiece it's gonna be it's gonna be we have to do this strategically as possible we have to get a top quarterback and we need to at least get a top receiver here we go we have the third pick in the draft as everyone knows let's look at the draft board Kale Williams, number one, this is who we want. We, we, we would love to get a receiver as well. So if we trade up, we're just not going to be able to trade up again. It's going to be asking for way too much to happen. Kale Williams is probably going to get taken right here. We're not going to... I don't I don't think we can trade up to the one or two. We're just going to see what happens. The first pick and our shit's glitched. Okay. You don't even know who got selected. Right. Bad in for you. Kale Williams did not get taken. Marvin Harrison got taken number one overall. Did they take him? They didn't take Caleb Williams. I don't know who they took. Caleb Williams falls to us at number three. And just like that, we get the number one quarterback in the draft class at pick number three without the need to trade up. Great. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit here because we can't trade up this far. Malik Neighbors would be amazing to hit. But is there... Rome would be nice too. I think Rome... Rome would be nice. Keon Coleman would also be nice. Keon, not as much, though. We need one of these guys. And then I go into the trade block, trying to trade for a first-round pick to get one of those top receivers we just saw. I end up trading Mac Jones and Kyle Duggar for a second-round pick to add on to the trade-on for a first-round pick in the future. With that second-round pick, I also traded Matt Judon, a second that we just got, a third, fourth, a fifth, our backup corner for a first round pick in this draft to get that receiver that we need a lot more than these other players. But that's someone we want is here. Malik Neighbors preferably. Holy shit, man. Malik is available. This draft is going perfect for us. We get Malik Neighbors. 92 speed, 93 expel, excel, 6 foot, 200 pounds. Clutch. Let's, uh, let's make a selection here. Don't mind an edge here. Don't mind a wide receiver. Don't mind. Could really use a left guard though. We're going to take the left guard. We really need a we need, really need some linemen here, especially a lot of our linemen are older, and so they can get injured a lot more likely. So if there's injury and we do have someone back up, that's gonna help us a lot down the stretch. Or we can get someone like Xavier Xavier Worthy. He's a lot smaller, but he's the fastest receiver in the draft. The fastest receiver in the draft. We're taking him. Xavier Worthy, Malik Neighbors, will be our receiver group with Juju Smith. And whoever else decides to join. Lyman. This guy looks solid as shit. Wow. I'm taking him right away. Brandon Doris. Two A's. Two A's in the third round. He can't get much better than that. This guy got A tackle. A block shedding. B finesse. A play rec. B awareness. In the third round. This is the last pick we'll make. And then we'll have the computer do the fifth round rest. Crazy just to take a 6-7 receiver. Let's just take a three receivers in the same draft. Why not? This draft class went perfectly our way. We got Kale Williams at round one, pick three, without the need to trade up, which allowed us to use those picks that we would have used to trade up to get him to get the second best wide receiver in the draft, Malik Neighbors. And then that second round pick we got from Mac Jones and Kyle Duggar, we end up selecting a guard, which will help us a lot in the long run because we needed an offensive lineman badly. Then to pair up with Malik Neighbors, we go ahead and get the fastest receiver in the draft, an absolute playmaker with Xavier Worthy. Then we end up getting a sneaky good defensive pick, one of the best edges in the draft class, Braden Dorius at round three, pick three. Boom. This is the offense in the starting caliber. We are getting rid of Devontae Parker. I promise you we're trading away Devontae Parker right now. He's not being on this team. But this team looks good as shit. Our offense looks solid. We're rocking with that. Defensive-wise, chilling as well. Our safety, pretty bad, right? Oh, we should. why don't we move Moppy to free safety? Let's move him to free safety. There we go. 
Then using Devontae Parker, our third, fourth, and a fifth, we end up getting one of the better middle linebackers in the game, Shaq Thompson, to help that super weak linebacker core. Looking great. I think we're actually ready for our first game. Just like that, we're ready for our first game against the Houston Texans at home. Going into this, we know they have a bad defense, so my game plan was to just pound the rock and expose that bad rush defense they had, and that's exactly what we did. Let's do this. First play call is a Ramondre Stevenson stretch to the right. We're rocking the red throwbacks. We are looking fantastic. Let's go, Stevenson. Start the season off good. Start the season off good! 10 yards for Stevenson on the first touch. Ramondre was absolutely bullying this Texans defense, getting five plus yards every single carry. Stevenson, Stevenson hits the edge. Stevenson has room. Stevenson, Stevenson is going off. 36 yards on three touches already. Then we gave it to Kale Williams, who did not disappoint on his first pass attempt. Neighbors, first catch. Neighbors, neighbors, neighbors to the 10. Then, Kale Williams did exactly what we expect him to do as that first round draft pick. In the call here. Scrambling. Kale Williams out of the pocket. Xavier Worthy is the first touchdown of the season. Kale Williams makes a damn play. The next drive was the same story. We let Stevenson pound the rock and then we let Kale Williams do his thing. Stevenson, here we go. Stevenson to the left. Stevenson has a breakaway. Stevenson makes a man miss. Stevenson. This offense was straight up looking unstoppable, and we did not stop. Juju, Juju in the end zone. Juju hauls down with it. Juju's first catch is a touchdown. We are looking unstoppable. But then this happened. Let's go. Curl rolls wide open. It's a missed throw by Williams. No. Williams with a bad, poor accuracy catch, and it's a pick six. In the pocket, the look is there. Throw just way, way to the right. The only reason we are in this game still is because of that guy right there. Stevenson was just going off, and he hit over 100 yards with that rush. Then on Hunter Henry's first target, Caleb Williams absolutely staggers him for a huge gain, and then we finish the drive off with who other? Go, Stevenson. Reaches in for the touchdown. His first touchdown, greatly deserved. But sadly, despite all this team success, Caleb Williams was struggling in his first game. A couple missed pass attempts, including this one right here, which would have been huge. He's wide open. Despite all this, though, Stevenson went over 180 yards total, and he absolutely carried this team to a victory, and we take the first win of the season. GG, our first game is an absolute masterclass from this offense. Caleb Williams had his struggles, but... That's why it's a team game, right? Stevenson, 7 yards of carry on 22 carries, 164 yards, 2 touchdowns. Malik Neighbors, 54 yards. Steve Stevenson, 30-yard catch. Incredible. We are already on to game 2 in a rainy home game against one of the worst teams in the league, the Arizona Cardinals. Thought this was going to be an easy win, but... Over the linebacker? What a catch by Xavier Worthy and what a window by Caleb Williams. The run game was efficient, but our passing game, we just could not get anything going with Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams, poor accuracy, man. He's had a couple misses last couple games, and that one's big. That's a big completion right there. Probably gets us in the red zone. And then the Cardinals make a game-changing play. Circles open in the end zone. Malik Neighbors, it's slammed. Holy shit. What a play. This is a crazy play by Buda Baker, I'm pretty sure. We throw it right here. I mean, this looks open, man. Who isn't throwing this? Slammed. We had so many opportunities on offense, but we just could not make any of them work. Our defense is doing their job, but our offense is just playing sloppy. It was wide open for a huge game. He might have Hulse called that. Then we find ourselves in a third down situation. Let's go. Quick hike. Four verdicts. It's man coverage, though. Not the best call. Make a receiver. Make a play, neighbors. Poor accuracy, man. We're struggling with uh, Caleb Williams already, though. He's had pretty shabby throws. We're going to give it to the... Looks like we got a good game. I don't know how. The Cardinals respond with a field goal, and then we finally get something going on offense. Don't mind it. Squares open. Oh, my God. What a dot to Xavier Worthy. He has 96 speed. He's got 96 speed. Almost house calls that for Williams. That's the best throw of Williams' career so far. 
But then Caleb Williams keeps missing throws. Juju's been that guy for us. And we had him. A missed throw by Williams right there. Verdict says the call, and they slam off the edge. Oh, we're going to have to try to tie this game up. First kick of the year. Looks like we're going to tie the game up. We missed that? We find ourselves in a 10-0 deficit, so we have to rely on the one man on this offense that is actually consistently good, and that's Remondre Stevenson. We're three times every down. We're going to win this game. Stevenson has a breakaway. Stevenson to the 30s. He's going to try to juke in. Oh, can't quite get it. Stevenson. And then we strike. Drags crosser. Connection. Deep end zone. Malik Neighbors wide open for the touchdown. Our defense yet again clutches up. Cardinals do not score. And then we have a chance to go take the lead. Go. The corner. Looks wide open. Hunter Henry. To the 11. Stevenson up the gut. Stevenson in the end zone. This card. This guy. Is just so unbelievably good. He's carrying us again. On the next possession, our offense stalls out yet again, and the Cardinals have a chance to go get a game winning drive. Wow, we stopped them yet again. We're just killing them on defense. Same story, new drive. The Cardinals have another chance to go get a game winning drive. They chew the clock. We're down three with 30 seconds. Game winning drive. Caleb's first of his career. Let's go. Can't get our hot routes going or anything here. Let's go. Let's go. Crosser's going to be open. We just got to dial it up. Malik Neighbors breaks a tackle for the first down. Huge first down from Neighbors. We got a deep crosser and a corner and a streak. Crosser. We're just going to have to throw it up. Juju, you're going to have to make a play, buddy. Flag. On defense. Defense. We get to the goal line off a of pass interference. We get absolutely bailed out by the refs and get a pass interference. And then Stevenson does this. Stevenson can win the game here. Stevenson wins the game. Holy shit. We win that game somehow off a pass interference call. Kill Williams and Penix go head to head. Penix got the better of them though. Better score. No interceptions. Two touchdowns. But rushing wise is where it separates. Even said 130 yards on the ground, 11 catch, 11 average. Next week is the 2-0 Jags team. Uh-oh. We face our biggest challenge yet with an undefeated 2-0 Jacksonville Jaguars team at home. We were having a pretty solid first drive, and then something crazy happens. Last game in the red zone. Hopefully first clean game from Williams here, but Stevenson. 2-3. No! Stevenson's injured. Our best player is injured. Just like that, our best player that we relied on every game is injured, and we are forced to use McLovin is what I call him. Good shit, man. Next man up. Then we get to a third and four inside the red zone. Neighbors one-on-one. -on -one. Wait for it. Neighbors one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, gets beat on a third and four. The Jags ended up tying the game, so we have a chance to go and take the lead. Pressure coming off the left. Worthy's wide open. Worthy has 96 speed. Worthy gets out. Good play by Worthy right there. But yet again, we stall out, and we're in a third down situation. Wait, Juju. Juju was open. We get another sack. We are in a one-minute drill before half, and then this happens. Yay crossers is the play call yet again. Just we're not running the ball. And that's a bad throw by Williams under pressure. Williams with his third interception in his third game. But yet again, our defense clutches up and the Jags stall out. No, that's McLovin. McLovin is at the running back position, but he's in bounce. Can we get the ball off? We should be able to get a field goal. No. Oh, 18 second runoff though. That's a lot. Our first drive out of the half, we stall out and the Jags go ahead and score a touchdown. And here is the stats going into the fourth. We are down a touchdown. But there is good news. Stevenson is back and he is ready to take revenge. Stevenson's open right away. Give it to him. Give it to our best player and let him make a play. Truck him in over for only two though. Third and two for life yet again. Stevenson getting the ball. Stevenson up the gut. Stevenson gets it. 
We're going to give it to Williams here. Williams looked open. Williams, slide, slide. He didn't slide. I was hitting slide. Thank you, God. We ended up driving downfield, luckily. We've had like four third downs at this point, and we are inside the two-minute warning. Jesus Christ, man. Worthy is going to be open really quick. Who else? Who else? And with that speed, man, he, that was on a flat route he got 11 yards off of. Like, nothing wide open right away. Williams takes off with his feet. Williams in the end zone to tie it up. What a f drive. Again, our defense clutches up, and we have another game-winning drive. Game-winning drive from our own 10. Our defense clumps clutch up yet again. I don't know. If we win this game, we do not deserve it at all. Like, this would be pathetic to even win. Man, we got Malik Neighbors for a reason. We traded up for his bitch ass. We traded up for Malik Neighbors. Make a play when you need to. We didn't trade up for kill, but Williams, who missed a chance. I think he had him burned too, man. Our first overtime of this season is to decide who is going to remain undefeated, and I go tails never fails, and it never fails. Somehow we can go win this game with a touchdown. We have one touchdown the entire game, but that was without Stevenson. Our run game has been atrocious, though. Our run game has been 15 rushes for 44 yards. Come on, make a play, make a play. Circle, circle, Juju. He's been quiet all game, but he gets a crazy catch right there. But then the refs rig it. Here we go. Play action yet again. Let's let Caleb sling it, man. Just let us sling it. Let's go, neighbors. We're driving on him now. This is the best momentum we had all game. Somehow. I say we keep throwing it. Booth review. Overturned. That total BS call has now led us to a third and four, likely for the game. And do not agree the play call here from coach. No, 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 no. Throw it. No, man. That booth review is going to be the reason that we have to punt it back to the Jags. We might not touch this ball again. We don't. Oh, man. What a loss. And just like that, we get our first loss of the season due to a bullshit ref call, an injury in the beginning of the game, and an insufferable play calling from coach. We fall to 2-1, and, and we are also going against the 2-1 and one Cincinnati Bengals with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. First play with Stevenson, been our best player, so we're going to give it to him a halfback stretch right away. Four yards, not bad, not bad at all. Our first two drives, we stall out and don't get much going, and the Bengals manage to score three points off of that. And, of course, we got to get it to our best player, Remondre Stevenson. Let's go, let's go, Stevenson. Stevenson found a hole, Stevenson go big bitch. We'll take it 14. But then a number one receiver, Malik Neighbors, suffers an injury. Shoulder strain, re risk injury. We can't keep him in. It's not worth it. And then this game took a turn for the worst, starting with this. Circles got him. God damn it, Kill Williams. He's wide open, and Kill Williams just misses him again. Kale Williams have been missing a lot of balls this season, and that did not stop for the rest of the game. We got Douglas getting the taps, which I'm familiar with Douglas. Another missed throw on these crossers. We're one for seven, six yards and interception. A missed throw is very likely. And it's actually, it's, it, it is a missed throw. He threw, I don't know what's going on with Williams. I don't know. We found ourselves in a 10-0 hole, and we had to get a play to get back in the game. And I don't trust any of these receivers. Juju is wide open. Thank you. Kill Williams actually made a throw. Juju can't outrun him though. Come on, man. Juju, you gotta outrun him there. That's a that's an end zone call. We finally had that huge momentum shift we've been looking for and we needed to capitalize. We do have another rookie wide receiver come in. Hunter Henry's wide open. And bam, another missed throw by Williams. Our defense held them to 10 points in the first half. Heading into the second half down 10 points, we really needed to score on this drive. Juju, Juju just got so... It, man, this game is just over. I don't know if that one's on me or not. I That looked open to me, unless I'm just an idiot. Did this not look open? This doesn't look open, though. I mean, that looks plain as beauty open, but for some reason, Juju just kind of... He just 
Like, why did he do that? You see that? Like, he went up for no reason. Like, he just went upwards and didn't run straight. Sadly, our defense couldn't hold them forever, and now we are down 17-0 to and needed a huge play. Douglas, his first game, and he's gonna go for 75! Damar Douglas. First game, because of injuries. Demario Douglas, my bad. Despite all of this, somehow we're only down 10 points with a chance to get it in a one-possession game. Throw it over him? Malik Neighbors is back. Wait, if we win this game, it would be miraculous. I forgot to mention it, and I think I already deleted the clip, but Xavier Worthy suffered an injury right before the end of halftime, and he is out for the remainder of the game. Suddenly, we have hope. Stevenson's getting the call. That, that linebacker on the left is tired. And Stevenson finishes it off. Wow. We have a chance. The momentum. Complete 180 on the momentum, and now we have a chance to... To somehow get a game winning play. The momentum did a complete 180. And now we are in the driver's seat. But Caleb Williams continue to struggle. No chance. Corner out's open. Uh, double post. Throw it away. Oh, God. Caleb Williams. <laughs> no. Our mistakes finally caught up with us, and we throw a game ceiling interception for the Bengals. Horrible game from every side of the ball. Injuries, I mean, we just game killed us. What a horrible loss. Oh, for four weeks, Xavier Worthy. He was one of my favorite players, too. I liked him more than Malik Neighbors. He was quicker and was a bigger playmaker. And he's out. Do we give this guy a chance? 91 speed, 93 excel is something we can't really find anywhere else on this team. He's a deep threat. He's got the speed and acceleration. I think we give DeMario the, the go over Juju. Juju's third string. We are 2-2 two two on a two-game losing streak, going against the 1-3 Rams looking to get back in that win column. And spoilers, this game is absolutely nuts. We miss Xavier Worthy a lot, but we still start the first drive clean. Zigro, we're looking for Hunter Henry. Get off that, Hunter. Get off that crosser's wide open, please. Thank you. Malik Neighbors is back from injury. Good shit. A couple big plays from Stevenson, and we're in the red Goal zone. lined. Here we go. We're running right out of inside stuff, though. Oh, my God. Somehow we got in against Aaron Donald. That's what we're talking about. Perfect drive. If we had that the first game, we would have won that shit. Okay, they go band for band, and they, they they equal us. In the second quarter, we're seven seven game, and we need to score here to take the lead. On the run, wide open, Malik neighbors, Malik neighbors, make a move. Oh, Malik. We stall out in the red zone due to some drops, but Caleb Williams has cleaned this game so far. Seven for eight for a hundred yards, and we take our three to take the lead. Alrighty, it's fine. Our defense stopped them, and we're in the two-minute warning, looking to extend this lead. It's a missed throw. Oh, it was just overthrown. Neighbors wanted it. Which we inevitably failed to do, and have to punt it away to the Rams. We do struggle against run teams, and they get in the end zone. We're down 14. This is the most score point scored on us all season. Our offense has never been high-powered. Our defense finally lets us down. The Rams scored before halftime and got the ball out of halftime to score. And now we are in a two touchdown deficit. Let's go wide open. What a play call. What a play call. Stevenson. Good shit. Fourth quarter. We're down two possessions. In a must score drive, Caleb Williams finally came to play. Triangle might actually have leverage. Oh my God. It's our second string tight end making a play. Holy shit. What a dot by Williams. Aaron Donald's not in the game. Perfect. Boom. One possession game. Our offense is clicking, but our defense sadly is falling apart. See if they can do something here big for us. They do. Our defense clutches up when we need them the most, and now we have a chance to go and tie this game up. Stevenson outruns them a little bit. Really quick throw to Wilson. That's that rookie's first catch. We got him in the fifth round. He's 6'7". By the way, 6-7 right there. Uh, as you can tell, he's huge, but obviously he doesn't really have a spot on this team yet. Uh, wide open is Douglas. 
Look at see that's why I want him. Look how quick he was to get off that ball. And our offense looked the best it has all season. We are clicking everywhere. Uh Douglas has him yet again. Douglas coming up big on this drive, and he just be able to get that five yards after catch every time, which is just huge. Minute left, not 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 the clock's really not that big of an issue. Mostly just getting the end zone. Juju. See, he's not really that quick, man. He's like a slug with that shit. Here we go. Meshes the call. Second and one. Squares got him. Wide open is Malik Neighbors for the touchdown. Huge. Wow, we have a 24-24 ball game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to let this one play out. <laughs> we missed the f***ing PAT? Are you serious? Is this a f***ing joke? Man, what a horrible way to go out. What a horrible f way to go out. Got some players to upgrade at least here. See what's going on. Wow. What an upgrade. We'll play. We're going against the 4-1 Seahawks now. Good God. We are on a three-game losing streak. Heading against the 4-1 Seahawks. We're third in the division. Tied with everybody. We're one game out of taking last. What's going on? I go ahead and hit the trade block, looking to replace our weakest position on the team, which was left outside linebacker, and that's exactly what we do. All right, we send a next year second for a very needed left outside linebacker. Hopefully, it can help our defense out a little bit. Even though our defense is playing pretty good. Let's look at our, like on the left, you can see our defensive pass yards per game is pretty good. Defensive points is 20. We are on to week six in a must-need win game. We are two and three on a three-game losing streak, and we're going to Seattle to verse the four and one Seahawks. My plan was to run the ball a lot, but the Seahawks kept blitzing and running man coverage, which was a big issue for us considering our receivers are so weak and Kill Williams cannot dial up an accurate pass on third and long. But our defense held strong and we went back to pounding the rock. Come on, Stevenson. Come on, Stevenson. Come on, Stevenson. Go, go, go. Truck this pussy. It's fine. Here we go. Stevenson, dude, Stevenson's going nuts already. We need this. They have a good secondary, but the secondary doesn't do anything to us. If we pound the rock and expose their D-line. Their D-line is not that good. I know that. We end up stalling out on offense due to horrible play calling, but we take a three-point lead. Perfect. Or so you thought. The stupid Seahawks got a rough in the kicker, and we get the ball back with a first down. First and ten. Opponent 14. <laughs> Off a stupid mistake, we get the ball back. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Wide open touchdown. Wide open touchdown, baby. Let's go. Our defense gets the stop again, but then this happens. No! <sighs> but yet again, our defense was holding strong, and we got the ball back, and we were driving downfield with maximum efficiency. Another dude, this team loves man coverage, man. Douglas might have him. Douglas. That's why he's better than Juju. That's why he's better than Juju. Let's see if we can find someone. Crosser's open really quick. Douglas. Wow. That was sniped, man. Steady pocket. The throw, the throw's there, right? This throw is not bad. This guy. Diggs is he's not playing the crosser. He's playing the he's playing the L route right here. Immediately when I throw it, he just changes instantly. Our defense got another stop, and we're playing Hall of Fame level, and finally we got the offense clicking. Battle. How's this team? Four and one. Eyeball. Douglas. Yep. Juju's gone. Juju's gone. Juju's gone. Juju's gone. Juju gone. He's gone. He's gone. That's that. That was the game. That was the that was the decider. Douglas just earned it. Coach only gave us an option for halfback draw, and we don't convert. All right. Well, we'll take a field goal here. We'll go at up ten to bearing anything crazy. Our defense, yet again, gets the stop, but then sadly, Stevenson gets injured on this play. It seems he's getting injured every other game and starting to become an issue. No, Stevenson just got injured. Stevenson just got injured again. I was looking at my phone and he just got injured. But we still managed to drive downfield fine with McLovin and we finish off the drive. Here we go. Play calls made. Quick throw. Malik Neighbors is in for the end zone staples the game just absolutely dominant game from our defense and they get a turnover right as i'm talking about them 
Holy shit. Stevenson, why are you back in, buddy? Like, we don't need you on the field. Our defense allowed zero points this game, and we absolutely blow out the 4-1 Seahawks, and Stevenson right here finishes off the game for us, and we go ahead and take a huge win. Looks like we actually do have a breakout running back dev trait, which would be huge. If we can get him a dev trait, 150 yards, I think we can do it. I honestly think we can do it. We're going to go for it. We're against the Bills. Going into week seven against a division rival, the Buffalo Bills, they're sitting at two and four and are not that good of a team. And I was willing to sacrifice a loss for this game if we can get Stevenson that superstar dev trait. So exactly, that's what I do. I start pounding the rock and focusing on him primarily. That's why with Acrobat, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I started off pretty bad there. Run game didn't work and then Caleb misses a throw. Get it off. I'm going to just shit my pants. And the Bills go and score a touchdown on their first possession, so we go back to hammering the rock. Let's go, Stevenson. Good shit. Stevenson, good job. What? Stevenson! Stevenson! He's the go. He's the goddamn go. Are we even debating this? Our defense gets a crucial stop, and we have a chance to go and take the lead. Make a read. Not a lot open. Square might have a chance. <sighs> yeah. You know, Kill Williams had two options there. Make an accurate cap make an accurate throw and it's gonna be completed. Or inaccurate throw incomplete. Okay. He choose the worst option. Slightly accurate throw just enough so the defender can play it perfectly. Lead him approximately six inches to the right so the defender is the only one who can touch it josh allen continues to destroy our defense and we're down two possessions going into the second half and stevenson still needs around 100 yards win the game no dev trait lose the game dev trait i would take the lose the game dev trait that's another one yard game free or like maybe a little bit shy of halfway wait a minute dot dot douglas Oh, bad catch. Bad catch by Douglas. Good accuracy. Bad catch. All right, we're going to kick this here. Hopefully get a one possession game. Perfect kick. The f dude. I mean, that's perfect kick. That wasn't even... This kicker is getting on my f nerves. So the only thing we can do now is pound the rock. Come on. And then one of our young offensive linemen get injured. God. Cole Strange is injured. That's bad, but I thought it was Stevenson. That's actually pretty bad. I think that's a left guard too. He has, why are we just looking at this? 109, 33. We're so close. We're like, we're nine yards off from maybe getting a depth rate. I don't know how it works exactly. He got it. He got it. Stevenson got it with that. We hit our 150 yard mark. So Stevenson will now be a superstar on the team. And we hit our goal. End zone, end zone. Better be a touchdown. Malik Neighbors has been our end zone guy, though. The Bills pound us, but we do get the superstar. We did it. Huge. Our first ever superstar ex superstar on defense. Offense. What am I? I'm just mumbling my shit up. What does he get, though? Mm. Let's find out. He gets two abilities. Um, He doesn't really get anything good, if I'm being honest. He doesn't even get armbar or anything. We got to upgrade. We got to upgrade the power back one. Spin, I never spun move my life. I'll give them tank. They're pretty bad, but it's progress. And we'll, we'll take it, I guess. It's official that Xavier Worthy is back on the team. Death chart now is going to go Neighbors, Worthy, Douglas. And that puts Juju on the chopping block. So I go ahead and trade the most mid receiver I've ever seen in my life. So we send Juju away to get a right guard because Cole Strange got injured. Our other guard got injured before earlier in the season. So we really need some depth there. So that's going to help a lot. So let's change up the death chart. We got a big game. Uh, this game is to take at least second in division, maybe even first. Depends on the tiebreakers and all that work. I don't think we've versed the Dolphins yet. So yeah, big game. Uh, we got to beat the Jets here. We can overtake them, which is a big deal. Let's look at stats halfway through the season almost. Um, Caleb Williams, good God. We are a rush first team, exactly what we have. A 6.5 average with almost 800 yards and 9 touchdowns. So receiving wise, Neighbors is our number one. Douglas only played three games so far. 
and he already has the second most yards on this team. What we really want to look at is, see, the run after catch average. This is why we got rid of Juju and we got Demar. Look at, he's 7.4 average. Only guy close to him is our running back, which is should be like that. The next close receiver is 5.3 with Xavier Worthy. Again, a super fast guy. Yeah! We are against the 4-3 and three Jets in an almost must-win divisional matchup. Let's see if we can get back in that win column. We need to play ahead, and we need to just manage the clock. Let's go. Let's go, Stevenson. First tap. Not very good. Spoiler alert, this game is absolutely incredible, and Kill Williams is going to show you how this game is going to go. Um, the bomb's there. Williams, please. Demar Douglas, he's going to run him. He has the speed. Enzo call right away. Wow. That's why we got Douglas on this team. Juju ain't doing that shit. But then, this seems like in every other game situation, Stevenson is again hurt. <sighs> Another injury. Stevenson's injured. Doesn't look too bad, though. Hopefully, this is not good. Oh, no. Stevenson's been getting injured every other game now, and it's starting to become an impaired issue. Hunter Henry actually has him. But it's a horrible throw. What the hell was that? We don't convert in the Jets score. Touchdown. We're down a touchdown on a third and eight. And rolling out. Triangle. On the run. It's Douglas. Holy shit, Douglas. Pass game's not very good in the short range. Let's go. McLovin. See, that's where that's where it comes an issue. His size is not big enough. He can't push forward like that. A coach wants to go for it, and we don't have a choice but to go for it here. Fullback dives the call. This is this is crazy. This is crazy, coach. Coach, this is crazy. We didn't get it. Coach offered us probably one of the worst combination of plays I've ever seen on fourth and inches. And obviously, our second strain, 69 overall tight end, does not convert. Stevenson, this is probably the most we passed all season here. Wide open. Who other than DeMar Douglas? And then Xavier Worthy shows that he is back. It's possible. Xavier Worthy back from injury and he crosses up Sauce Gardner. That's what we missed. We missed Xavier Worthy in that outside right there, and he absolutely comes back in amazing fashion. Going into the half, we are in a 14-14 shootout and a very big game. Our defense gets another huge stop for us, and we have the ball. RPO call for Worthy and neighbors. This looks like man, though, so not really. It's actually open here. It's open. Xavier Worthy has that speed, man. He is so quick. Give it to Triangle. Field goal range. Demar Douglas. Good shit, man. David Andrews is out. Our center again. He's been hurt earlier. And injuries are killing us. We're up three points with the ball and have a chance to score a touchdown and take a two-possession game. Hunter Henry's there. It's a beautiful throw by Williams. Williams, best game of his career so far. 252 touchdowns, no turnovers. Very good completion percentage. Oh, shit. Here we go. Stevenson, he has him. Stevenson, burn him on a wheel route. Stevenson. <laughs> Dude, we're unstoppable. We're looking amazing. We've never looked this good before ever. But the Jets answer back, and now it's only a three-point game. We're in a goddamn game, though. We are in a game. The pass game is what's winning this game for us, but we can't we can't step away from the run. We know the run is the biggest part of our team almost. 69 is just... Cole Strange has made a horrible play. He didn't take... That could have been a house call. Let's watch some film on this. Let's watch some live film. You do this, but then you, you have to get off this block. You have to get off this block and get this linebacker. He he gets this dumbass right here. Cole Strange gets off this block quicker, blocks him. It's a house call. It's at least a 20-yard gain, right? This guy's blocked. We're going to hit this hole, and we're going to be left with a one-on-one. -on -one. And Stevenson is very good at one-on-ones. Oh, row, maybe. It might be there. We're going to take the risk. Demario Douglas catches everything. He I think he has the best catch. It, He's the only guy that doesn't get big drops off of stuff like that. But then we take a sack and just have to try to make a play with our wide receiver. We're going to throw it up to Malik Neighbors. One-on-one. -on -one. Man, I really wish Malik Neighbors was that jump guy, but he's not. Our defense gets the stop, but our pathetic offense goes three and out, and our coach calls five wide on a third and nine. Oh, oh no. Defense. Defense wins championships. Come on, guys. Come on. <sighs> not over yet, not over yet, not over yet, not over yet. Screw it. He actually might have him. Kill Williams. 
In heartbreak fashion, Williams misses a wide open Demar Douglas on a house call. For the win! Big play. We have to just throw it up. We have to just throw it up. Xavier Worthy. Oh, he had it. This hits worse. This is worse than the XP miss. We played a perfect game until the last play. Trade Trade's done after this week, right? Yeah, this is the last week to make a trade. So I go ahead and hit the trade block first, looking for a backup running back similar to Stevenson so he can come in when Stevenson gets injured. And I find Gus Edwards, who's very similar in statue and stats. And we also really wanted a new left guard after Cole Strange shit the bed on live television. So that's exactly what we do. I trade a couple picks and Leonard Williams away to get these two players, which was huge. And then my next target was a backup tight end. Hunter Henry got hurt a couple times already, and we run the ball a lot, so we use a lot of two tight end sets. So we wanted a backup tight end that wasn't a 68 overall and can actually block, which is where we got Drake Ferguson as our new tight end too. Here we go. Final look. We're three and five. We're making a playoff run here. Final look here. So offense alignment, all solid. We're all looking good. All smiles all around. Cool. David Andrews looks pretty sad, but Hunter Henry, we come on a lot of two tight end sets. Hunter Henry, Ferguson are going to have a good, good blocking day. We are in that part of the season where we need to start racking up wins. We need to at least win two out of every three games going forward. And that starts here with the four and four Colts who have a supreme defense. We do not start hot and go three and out. Try to be there for a quick second. Dropped. But our defense holds up, and we get the ball back. Pass play on third and four. Third down situations are something we can't have ourselves get in, but we're here quick. Stevenson right across the middle. Stevenson holds on to that. Damn. We catch ourselves on the third and 27. Don't even ask how this happened. But that's why we're the best team in the league. Plays. So why not? R1, 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 make the throw. Make the catch. Douglas catches everything. I've been telling you this. Alrighty, Stevenson's tired, Douglas is tired, Hunter Henry's tired, this is just a nightmare. Wait, wide open, he's wide open! Wilson, our fifth round rookie, gets his first catch, and his first touchdown. We take an early lead and our defense yet again does their job and we have a chance to go score again. Circle's gonna be there, Xavier Worthy is tired, inside the 10. Step up, throw it right across the middle. Xavier Worthy is in the end zone, back from injury. He's been huge for us. We're up two possessions with the ball. What could go wrong? Activated. Oh no. Quick throw to square, and that's played. Uh, it's a pick six. It's a crucial pick six. I was trying to throw it down below the... Below the I start rambling with excuses of why I threw that. Basically, in short, I was trying to throw it below the receiver, but I didn't get thrown below the receiver, and that's that. Our defense yet again does their job, so we have the ball back and have a chance to again go up two possessions. This guy, and he's not catching that. Come on, man. We're going for the shot. Xavier Worthy has him. Xavier Worthy has him. We love it. That's why we drafted him. The Colts respond, so we have to respond as well. Wide open. He's so open. It's a bad throw. Actually, that's on Douglas. Uh, that was an option for a post route. Why did he run a streak? Why is he running a streak here? The post route was supposed to snap like right here. Who the f did it run a post route here? Why are you running right at the safety? God damn it. Our defense does their job. So now we are trying to chew clock and head out with a win. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Stevenson says first down. Trap out her. Not a deal at all. Wow. There's no turnover. Stay in bounce. Two minute warning. We'll get a two possession game. which should solidify this game. But we're going to get the win. We're going <coughs> to kneel it out. And we get the win. And with that, we are halfway through the season and we are finished with part one. This took a while to edit, obviously, and part two will probably come out sometime next week, I hope. Hope you guys enjoyed it, especially if you watched all the way through. I highly appreciate it. And uh, 